I need a few more volunteers. Andy, will you be Iceland? The bad guys from Mighty Ducks 2? Don't think so. Okay, how about Japan? The bad guys from Karate Kid 2? Even worse. How about Germany? They've never been the bad guys. Why don't you be Finland? Okay. Okay? Thanks a lot. Honey, I just traded Finland's military to Kenya for 50 lions. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. But also, militaries are pretty good at protecting countries. But so are lions, and you don't have to pay them. These kids are idiots. Uh, I've just traded all of Finland's boring stuff for every other country's lions. I definitely have more lions than any other country in the whole world right now. I have no idea what's going on, but if that ends up meaning something in this game, I'd say I'm set. <laughs> hey, Jakey, the place on the corner is serving lemonade, and you get to keep the jar. It's pretty cool. Yes. That's very cool, Scully. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just one moment? Oh, sure. Guys, guys, guys. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? No, I called you in here to change your lives. For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in... <gasps> an identical mason jar? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. There are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. So. Will Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you would think that putting fish food into lemonade would Hitchcock be... just drank his own fish. What? No! Squad, we missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I told them I was in Ecuador. I think they bought it. We gotta make it up to him. Let's give him cash. Everyone put in $20 each. Yeah. Uh... Yes, I'll cover you. Hey, Scully. Huh? We're sorry that we missed your party. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you all have stuff to do. Yes, the capital of Ecuador is Quito. Oh. Anyway, happy birthday from all of us. Thanks, guys. You're, you're the best. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday. Scully. I can't believe it. The fake birthday worked. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. <laughs> thumbtack book. That was my thumbtack book. We got it. Wow, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, wait. I think the victory would be more meaningful if Erin puts the last word in herself. Yes, Pam. Yes, most definitely. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although I must say, I will have apoplexy <laughs> if you lose. Do you understand? Apoplexy is what I will have. Apoplexy. Yes. Oscar, I played ape. Thank you. Right. Oh, all done. Disposable cameras are fun, although it does seem wasteful and you don't ever get to see your pictures. If it's an important event that you want to remember, I recommend using a real camera. But I don't care if I forget today. How's it going? I'm Bobby Newport, but you probably knew that already. Well, Mr. Newport, we meet at last. I'm Leslie Nope. Ah, okie doke. So, do you want me to sign that to Miss Lope or just Nesney? What? No, I... Leslie's fine. Leslie? Yep, yeah, Miss Nope is a candidate for city council. Been calling your office trying to set up a debate. Oh, no, you guys are wrong. I'm running unopposed. I'm pretty sure I'm running unopposed, right? No, you're not running unopposed. You're very opposed by me. Oh, terrific. I love meeting people. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What do you guys do? We, we just told you. We're going to be running for city council. Great! Here, have a Bobby bar. Go ahead. My dad made them. Okay, folks. Hey, I'm Bobby Newport. I think we scared him. Here, have a Bobby bar. My dad made them. The reason why Bobby and I are appearing together is to send the message that everyone should get out and vote, no matter who they're voting for. That's right. Another awesome point by Leslie. That's why I'm voting for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You're laughing at your joke. What joke? I am voting for you. You're not voting for yourself? Leslie, you can't vote for yourself, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Anything else? <laughs> Look, at <that. laughs> Look at that thing. What is that? Don't touch it. See, I can't figure this thing out. Can you help me? 
Yeah, just hang on a second, Bobby. That ink all over my hands and the pen thingy came off the chain. I don't get it. You gonna answer that, Cal? All right, thanks. Thunder Mifflin, this is Kevin. Please hold while I transfer you. Oscar, your mom! Charles is having Kevin cover the phones for a while. How do I say this diplomatically? I think Kevin is doing exactly as well as anyone might have expected someone like him to perform in a position like that. Please hold. Andy, phone call! Nope, stay there. Kev, I thought we nailed the whole transfer thing earlier. Yeah, I wrote it on my hand, but then I washed it. It is transfer, extension, and then transfer again. Okay. Andy, get ready. Transfer. Here we go. Extension. Transfer. Ugh. Ah! Oh, man. It is 134. Kev. Kev, come on. Hustle. Hold you are Kevin. murdering the Nardog. This is Kevin. Please hold, and I will transfer you. You're bad at this, Just too. Don't answer there. that call. Just transfer the damn call. Your call is very important to us. Please. Hey! Oh! Okay. Oh! okay. Way to go. My maid died. Me mechanic not speak English, but he know what me mean when me say car no go, and we best friends. So me think, why waste time say lot word when few word do trick? Kevin, I appreciate what you're trying to do. Thank. Here, we have a word code. The same way we have a dress code. And what we're talking about is basically the speech equivalent to just wearing underpants. Sometimes words you know need use, but need need for talk talk. But save time, more success. Does it save time though? Because we've been here for about an hour. No me fault. Kevin, at most you're saving a microscopic amount of time. Many small time make big time. And what are you going to do with all this time? See world. Kevin, you can't possibly save enough time to see the world. Ke Kevin, are you saying see the world or sea world? Sea world. Oceans. Fish. Jump. Okay. China. No, see? Right there. That's the problem with your method, because I still don't know if you're saying sea world or see the world, and it's taken a lot of time to explain it. Fine. Fine. I'll talk normally. When me, president, they see. They see. Alexander didn't see Parminian as a rival. He killed him over a dispute about his son. Oh no, it's Boethius all over again. At least you've got one thing, right? You do have a rock-hard brain. Because that's bad. Everyone knows that a brain should be soft and wet. I wanted to say that, but Jake told me not to. Yeah, because it's gross. There you are. You okay, sir? I'm fine. I've decided to stop fighting it and lean into the fact that I'm an idiot. Look at me, playing a video game. Oh, which one? Times Crossword app. Not a video game. Well, it plays a little song when you solve it, as if you've just learned to potty. Yes, yes, cleaning my dunces too.